thanks for joining me for this short video where we will do a couple of examples of the math required for Laplace equations and dead time processes and first order plus dead time processes. Let's see if we can share a screen here with you. And here we are. So this is an example um, of what type of a question. First thing to do again is to look for the available uh, information. In this case, we have a blank graph. So we need to draw a graph based on the transfer function. The transfer function uh, at the bottom of this graph shows GS equals 2E minus 1.5S. Uh, as we can see, hopefully, oh, come on, my pen's not working. Uh, we can see down here, 2E 1.5S. So our job is to take the information from this and generate a graph. So the two pieces of information that are available here are the gain, which is represented by the two in this case, and the dead time, which is represented by the 1.5. So this tells us that um, our output is going to be two times our step change, and it's going to occur 1.5 units after the initiation of that step. So if we make our step here, we count uh, one and a half time units, so one square, half a time unit. So at this point right here, we will have our step change, which is going to be positive in the same direction as uh, our PV response is going to be in the same direction as our step change because our gain is positive. So our line is going to come out one and a half squares, jump up two squares, and then carry on flat at 70 for the remaining period of time. And I would draw this for you if my pen was working, um, but it's not. Okay, so just again, gain of two, it's positive, so it'll be in the same direction as our step, occurring at 1.5 time units. So one time unit, one and a half time units, two times our 10%, which is 20%, will take us up to here. So our line will come across, up and then across at its new static state level. All right, let's find an example going the other direction where we have to find the transfer function based on the diagram. Uh, well, surprise, surprise, what we go in, what we got going on here. Uh, let's see if I can get that graphic to show up. There we go. Uh, what do we have going on? We have a 10% step change right here. We have a 20% change right here. So our gain is going to equal uh, 20 over 10, which equals 2. And it's going to occur when? Well, our point of change is right here. The change happened right here. So that's one square and a half square. So we're going to call this 1.5 and thereby our formula or Laplace equation will be 2e minus 1.5s and that's an example for dead time. Okay let's move to another example this will be first order plus dead time this is the culmination of all the previous process types and all the math combined. So again, looking at the question, we have to decide uh, what they're asking us for. We are given the uh, output graph in this case, so we have to find a transfer function. The first thing that we have to do is draw a tangent line, so we'll do that. And again, there's going to be some subjectivity in this, but this will be my, uh, my line. Your line may be a little bit different, and that's absolutely fine. 
Okay, next thing we can do is we can identify what our overall change happens to be. And in this case, one, two, three, four squares, so 40% is our overall change. Uh, our step change here is 10%, so we can do that. This gives us our K value, which is equal to four, which we will be able to use. Okay, we can now take our 40% value there, multiply it by point, 0 0.632, and this will give us our T1 time, and 40 times 0.632 is 25.28. We'll go 25.28 from our steady state static position. So 50, 60, 70, 5.28, somewhere in this neighborhood here. So you can draw yourself a little line from 75.28 across till we hit our slope line. And then we can come down. And there's our reference for our T1. Our start time, or our T0, is right here. So our dead time is going to be one square, two squares, and about a half a square. So T, oh my goodness, what did I just do? T, D is equal to 2.5. Again, I'll show you from here, one square, two squares, and then this little bit here. 2.5 is what I'm going to say, and our T1 time, uh-oh, I lost that mark, is going to be somewhere down off of that point, and to here, which is, oh, I don't know what that looks like, I'm going to say 0.3 of a square, oh my goodness, what did I do there, T1 equals 0.3 times 2 minutes, So 0.3 times 2 is equal to 0.6, and that would be our T1 time. So our equation is going to be 2, oops, sorry, let's erase that. Back to the pen. 4E minus 2S over 1 plus point six s so that's how you do it going that direction hopefully not too confusing for anybody and now we will look at another example here uh, can be a little bit more challenging uh, let's have a look see here okay here we have a transfer function given with no graph. So from the information we can gather here, we have a K is equal to minus 1.5. Again, remembering that this minus is going to mean that our change is going to go the opposite direction of our step. We have a minus uh, 1S for our dead time, so our T D is going to be equal to 1. Our T1 time is equal to 2. And these are all coming from our transfer function. So first thing we can figure out is what is our new static value going to be? And it's going to be 1.5 negative times our 10% step up change, which means that we're going to come down 15. So somewhere along this, I don't know why that keeps erasing, but it's starting to get annoying. Somewhere along here is where our final steady state value is going to be. We can find out our, uh, where our T1 is uh, by multiplying that 15% by 0 0.632. So let's do that. Times 0 0.632 is equal to 9.48. So 15 times 0 0.632 equals 
8. We'll come down off of our 50, 9.48, which puts us just under 40. So somewhere along this point here is where we're going to get our T1 reference, somewhere along that line. Um, I guess I could, can I change that? I don't know. I can't, well, I can't change it. So somewhere along there, it's going to happen. Um, then we have our dead time, which is uh, 1. So our 63.2 is going to happen at 2 time units. So 1 unit, 2 time units. So here, right there, is going to be our first mark. And our dead time, again, is one unit, which is here from our original start, so one time unit. So this is where our line is going to cross. So we can draw a tangent line between our dead time dot and our 63.2 dot, and then start curving it to our new happy place. Sorry, this is not a great drawing. And then we can curve this one into our new happy place. And that should represent somewhat of an S, although that's a bit of a weak example. But that's how you do it. If you have any questions uh, beyond this, please don't hesitate to send me an email and I will uh, scribble like an elementary school student for you one more time. Thank you. Right. No control over anything here.